Oh, well, I, you know, me and Steve here, and I guess it's time I tell my story about Jack Ruby and the Kennedy assassination. I knew Jack Ruby. We weren't friends. I mean, I didn't hang out with him. But uh, this is, of course, back in the 60s, and I was a young man, and I had friends that were doing a, a, a show at the Adolphus Hotel, which was right across the street from uh, what, where Jack Ruby's club was, a strip club that he owned, and uh, they were, they had a show, uh, a showroom there, it was, it was like a Las Vegas showroom, it was very uh, upper class, not, it wasn't a strip joint by any means. Anyway, um, Jack Ruby hung around and became friends with the producer of the show and the star of the show, his name was Breck Wall, and uh, and from Dallas they went on to go to Vegas and become a, the longest running lounge show in the history of Las Vegas. It, it ran for years and years and years as a comedy review. And so Breck was, became quite famous and he's in the, uh, the Warren report about the Kennedy assassination because he did know Jack Ruby. And because I knew Breck, I met Jack Ruby and, and Jack wanted to uh, he, he wanted his club to be more high class and so he asked uh, Breck to um, to do a show for him and so Breck went over to his club a couple of times and then a couple of times that he went I went with him it was in the daytime there was no show zone and it was it was very small and it had a little bitty stage in the corner as I remember it. it was not big at all it wasn't really even a stage it was more like a platform and Breck was going to put together a little musical review or something for Jack, but they always ended up in a fight. It was uh, Jack had a he he had a temper, and so did my friend Breck. So they didn't mix too well. They were always fighting, but then they always claimed to be friends with one another. But this was before the um, before the assassination, and. Uh, in fact, I went on to New York, and then when I came back, uh, I went to see the. I happened. To, I happened. I'm trying to think of the. Uh, this was before. This was before the assassination. Uh, but the, when Kennedy was in Dallas in the parade and he got assassinated, I w I was in Dallas. Although I had already moved to New York, I came back to Dallas on my way to California. And uh, I was only there for a few days and went downtown. I was going to meet up with Breck and some other people that I knew to watch the parade in, in front of the uh, Adolphus. That was supposedly a good vantage point uh, to see the parade. And But I didn't quite make it because of the traffic. I was running late. So I parked the car and got out so that I could go stand along the curb and, and wave it. I waved at Kennedy and Jacqueline on uh, Kennedy. I waved at them and they waved back at me. Of course, they waved at everybody, but it's, you know how you think they're waving right at you. So I did see them that, that day. And uh, after they passed, I, I'd made my way on down to, tried to get down to the Adolphus, but the, it was just too many people in the crowd and everything. So and I didn't really know where they were because I, because I had been late. So I got in the car and headed back home. I was staying with my parents. And on the way, on the way back home, I heard over the car radio that Kennedy got shot. And I couldn't believe it because I'd just seen him. I thought, what? Is this some kind of joke or something? I don't know. I was very confused. And, and I, I remember I pulled over and just sat there and listened because it was just so unbelievable that that happened after me just seeing him, you know, and waving at him. And so it was very, um, very confusing and upsetting to say the least. And, and I ended up uh, staying in Dallas much longer because that was all that was on the news. That's what people were watching. And people were just, the town just became like a ghost town. People just didn't go out and uh, businesses closed down and everything else. But anyway, get back to Jack Ruby. Uh, 
I think he was crazy, and he was crazy enough that that he killed Oswald. I mean, probably for no other reason than what they're saying is that he just wanted to be a big hero and kill the person that killed Kennedy. Uh, he was just a he was like a Damon Runyon character from a, from a, one of those novels. Um, he thought he was a gangster, but he really wasn't. And he wore cheap suits and had on cheap cologne, you know, like the, like in the movies. Well, that was Jack Ruby. And uh, I never was around him more than two or three times. He was at the club, and I met him because of Breck, and then he, he would come over to the office and be in the back and watch the show and, you know, kind of hang out like that. But he was just... Um, he was, he was crazy. He probably was crazy. He thought he was a big deal, but he wasn't, you know. So anyway, that's my brush with fame. Besides that, I also met a couple of strippers from Jack's Club, and that will be my next video. I can't put that all in this video because that's a long story. And one of the strippers, you'll know who she is famous stripper. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> so anyway, that's all for now. Bye!